Hello, this is Matt Lynn with ATG. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a keynote text file by using a Revit schedule. So for starters, I'll go ahead and add a keynote. So annotate keynote, user keynote. Okay, so this brings us to the uh, default library for Revit keynotes, which is installed on your computer when you install Revit. And you can see it has all the divisions and uh, under the divisions you can uh, see more text notes. So it goes from masonry to common work results for masonry. Or you can bring it deeper down to masonry mortaring, grouting, anchorage, or you can get down to uh, specifying the actual type of mortar. Okay, but that's not what we're going to do today. So I'm going to cancel out of here, which is the out of the box version. And I'm going to show you how you can create the tech, the excuse me, the keynote text file with a Revit schedule. So I'm going to come to view schedule quantities and I'm going to pick um, a detail items and then I'm actually going to do a key schedule which is this button right here and I'll change it to call it just keynotes. Same thing here I'm going to change it to keynotes and say OK. You can see a key name is a default field, uh, and I'm going to add comments as well. So with that, I'll just go ahead and say OK, and it produces our schedule. So I'm going to pull this out. So with key schedules, you have the ability of inserting data rows right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do 20 or 25 or so. OK, so now. I'm going to, let's see, we'll call this Keynote 2. Now we could keep going by saying uh, Keynote 3, Keynote 4, Keynote 5, but I'm going to use a special plugin called Spreadsheet Link to streamline this process. So if I come here, go from categories to schedules, because we already have the schedule. I'll bring in the keynotes like so. And that enables us to, first I'm gonna, I'm going to delete these and start here and say one, oops. I'm gonna do it again while hitting control, which I forgot to do like so, and then I'll call this Keynote 1. Oop. Did it again. There we go. Okay, so with that, I'm going to apply it right back into the active worksheet. And you can see it's populated all of those right here. Okay, so from here, all you have to do is go, while you're in the schedule, oops, go to the File tab, Export to um, Reports, Schedule. And then you can save it. I'll, I'll put it right here on my desktop for now, and we'll just call it keynotes.text and say Save. Now for here, it's asking, do you want to export the title, column headers, and group headers? So all of this stuff. We don't really want that stuff. We just want this. So I'm going to uncheck all of these and then say OK. And so that has been saved on my desktop, which you can see right here. OK, so now if I go back to level one, and then go back to annotate, keynote, keynote settings. I'm going to browse to my desktop. And here's the new uh, text file we just made. So now if I come in, you can see we've got all the key values we just inserted and the keynotes. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.